Hello YouTube, it's Tony. So today I'll be showing you my completionist cape party. So this is Throwback Thursday, so I thought it'd be cool to share. I obtained my completionist cape as of November 23rd, 2015. So at the time I obtained it, I thought of making a full video on this. I mean, I totally forgot until recently. In which case, I ended up finding this clip in my old laptop hard drive just around two days ago. So I was transferring my old laptop files over, and surprisingly, I actually found this for some reason. Honestly though, it would have been nice if I found this two weeks ago, because that was going to be the anniversary. So anyways, I also even found my speech notes for that video. Wow, it's been two years, and I mean time really flies that fast, you know? Initially this speech was quite long, but I'm just going to keep it really short. So after all these hardships I've been through, I could finally taste freedom and relief. You know, from all the quests, to skills, to tasks such as Dominion Tower, Libid Farm, and most insanely hard the Reaper title, those activities really dropped my motivation to get Comp Cape. Now the hardest completionist cape requirement I had was finding a team on raids. Honestly, it took me several tries, and at that time, I didn't really have that many friends that could help me, you know? So in the end, I got my Yakamaru kill from one of my friends in the Max clan. Honestly though, I never thought coming to that day, and even earlier than I expected that I've completed all the requirements. So somehow I remembered the first day I played RuneScape, this was because my best real life friend introduced it to me, like way back in 2006 or something. And guess what, I had no clue how Tutorial Island worked, and I had to come to his house to help me get it done. Then as time came along, I got hacked a few times. Unfortunately I was never able to get membership because my parents never wanted to pay for that, and I mean, as a kid I didn't have a credit card obviously. Then came around 2009 when I finally got my first taste of membership, and yeah that was pretty fun actually. However, two weeks later I got grounded, I forgot what happened, in which case I ended up quitting. So fast forwarding five years later, I came back to this game, and I had absolutely no idea how the new system worked. And boy, the first week of my return, I felt like RuneScape clearly wasn't the same as before, you know? However, I wanted to try out membership, so I actually worked my ass for a bond. I think I did various methods like mining iron ore and even smelting steel bars. At the time, the bond wasn't that expensive, and I was able to make enough for that. From the first day I got the bond, I went straight to questing and completing as many tasks as possible, so that way I can unlock some basic money making methods. Now every week throughout the first month, I was very worried that I won't be able to maintain the bond. But I mean leading all the way up to today, I never lost any membership at all. So over time I discovered a lot of methods on how to train my skills faster, and so I used to guess the efficiency experts clan. So yeah, they did help me out a lot, even though at first my questions looked really stupid. I can't remember what I was asking, but it really seemed simple to them. So anyways, less than 10 months after returning the game, I finally got my max cape. I've always wanted to step up my game in RuneScape, you know? It's something that I dreamed of as a kid, but yeah, I think there are a lot of accomplishments I've done leading all the way up to today. Although I haven't been wearing the comp cape for about a year or so, I mean the requirements got bigger and bigger, I'll still remember this clip as something I had to work really hard on, you know? Like really, really, really grindy. I believe at the time I was grinding for comp cape, I was mostly motivated by its stats and not necessarily its looks. Nowadays, I haven't really been doing the new requirements, as I'm almost done all my combat skills to 200 mil. 